turn, heat number nine, Jason Garrity off the inside for Coventry. Peter Killerman goes off gate two in white. Carl Howarth gate three in red for Coventry against his former club. Lewis Rose goes off the outside. Coventry lead by four, and they've got gates one and three here. Can they make it count? You do feel a lot of pressure on the shoulders of Peter Killerman, this man in the white helmet colour. Very much so, and he needs to make gate two work because he had gate four last time, and he got second place out of that, but gate four has been very difficult to do and Lewis Rose goes from there so Peter Kilderman under pressure here we go then going into that first turn Kilderman has got a good start and so has Garrity and that has allowed Kyle Howard through and Kilderman has been sent right to the back and, and Coventry have hit some great form all of a sudden Jason Garrity in blue Kyle Howard in red the two talented young British riders are leading the way ahead of all oh, Kilderman's gone down Peter Kilderman has gone down and Coventry are on a 5-1, and Kellerman is not going to clear the track. Kellerman is not going to clear the track. That is controversy. Huge controversy there. Well, well, well. Kilderman wasn't happy about the first corner. Jason Garrity took him wide. It was a tough first turn. He had every chance, every reason to. Kilderman yeah, well, then went down the back straight. He was relegated to the back because he was in all the wet, slippery stuff on the outside. The management team from uh, Coventry emotionally there, very passionate about the sport. Mick Horton there gesturing. Gary Havelock. Yeah, Mick Horton and Gary Havelock have just come over to the meeting steward in the pits, like he's the fourth official at a football match. Yeah. And they have really got stuck in. And Peter Killerman getting booed by the fans. And you have to have a bit of sympathy for, for Coventry there. Killerman did make a meal out of getting back up, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. It's a tight uh, run to the first corner and Garrity has every right to go to the middle of the track. Kilderman goes very wide and goes to the back. That allows the two British boys to hit the front and Kilderman seems to just sort of give up and his motivation evaporates right from the word go and he just slips off the bike as he comes in to start the, um, the second lap. You can see there's no commitment there and he just slips off the bike and really, truly... He does get up as well, Kelf. Yeah, he needs to get off the track. He gets up and holds the bike up. He has no reason not to get off the track there and that's, uh, that's a bit naughty from Peter Kilderman. Well, well, well. And at this stage, Kilderman is still on the track. He's not quite cleared it. See there? He yeah. was up. This is where he gets up. And yeah, this is where not, the race is still going. Hurt. The bike's still running. There's absolutely no reason for him not to get off the track. So why has he done that now? Why has he stood the bike well, up he there? wants a restart, doesn't he? Well, well, well. He wants a restart. Drama here. Controversy as well. Peter Kellerman disqualified from heat number nine. And it has to be said, if Coventry make a similar start in Heat 9, they'll get a 5-1 anyway, but that's not the point, is it? No, it's not. Obviously, you know, Peter Kilderman, we bigged him up um, uh, before the meeting. He's been riding well, but uh, he got pushed wide as he went to the first corner. Garrity was perfectly within his rights. He rode a hard first corner, but he didn't stuff him. It's very wet and greasy on the outside, and Kilderman gives up pretty much as he goes down the back straight. When he goes into the first corner for, for the second time, you can see he's not committed, just slips off. Should have just then got off the bike or got the bike to the infield and allowed the race to continue. Doesn't do that and quite clearly upsets everybody. Well, the, the referee cannot award a race that early. Um, if it was later in the race, the referee could have awarded it, but, but not that early. He can't do it. It's not in the rules. I'm sure Gary Havelock's got a thing or two to say about it. He's with Chris. <laughs> I don't know what makes you say that, Nigel. Gary, obviously, Peter Kilderman making a protest about the first turn. He got run wide. Jason didn't do anything wrong perfectly able to do that and uh, he's been excluded but would you like to see more done about it yeah I would to be honest yeah I would like to see him excluded for the rest of the meeting you know it was quite obvious what he was doing the bike was still running I didn't even know that until I just watched the um, the replay but um, you know I've already been told I can't talk to the referee anymore because he doesn't like what I'm saying but you know their 